Good Monday morning, and yes, I'm a little late. Long nights make for late mornings, but that's okay. We're all good so far. <laughs> I hope you're having a great morning. Hope you had a good weekend. I think I worked all weekend. I don't know. It's kind of gone now. I'll have to remember what I did now, but mostly I think all I did was work, and that was a good thing. That's not, not always bad, right? I had plenty of work, so that was a good thing. So anyway, but I hope you had a great weekend. It's springtime. It's uh, lots of time to get outside now. I like. I love this time of year. I love watching everything bud and blossom and the flowers and and uh, I like going to Martin Park, or Bluff Creek, and they're, now they're getting green and all that. So I I love this burst of new life, right? <laughs> that comes in the springtime. So this morning, as I was getting around. Late. Well, I really didn't get around that late, but Chris took some extra time this morning because he kept me up most of the night, coughing again. But uh, so as I was getting around and getting things done this morning and and uh, trying to kind of plan my day and take time for my devotions and things like that, I just had this sense of gratitude, and and it was just I was so grateful that God is just there, right? I never have to get up in the morning and call him and wait for him to answer or I, his, I never I never say a prayer that goes to voicemail uh, I never get the message like my phone did and I got it fixed now but oh my goodness was that a crazy thing everyone who called my phone last week was getting the message that I wasn't taking calls right now we never get that message from God right I never go into time of prayer and he goes I'm not taking prayers right now you have to come back in the morning I, I am on overload I'm not listening to anybody right now <laughs> right he, he never sends me to voicemail he never turns his phone off so to speak right he he's he never says come back later i don't want to talk right now i'm not in the mood for this right now i can't handle this right now he never says that he is just right there and i was just overwhelmed this morning as i was taking my request to him mostly you know touch chris what can i do to help chris give me some wisdom here you know asking just the general things he hears all the time from me right um and and i was just I was overwhelmed with this gratitude that that he just is there. You know, I don't ever have to worry about my prayers not being heard. Even the silly ones. He hears even hears the the crazy thoughts I have in my head and the the goofy stuff that goes through my mind sometimes, right? And and all the craziness in there. And he's not afraid to just be there. You know, he's the only thing I, I was thinking. He's the only thing in my life, and your life too, our, all our lives that is just consistently consistent. He's always right here, wherever here is. I can move to Timbuktu, which is a real place, by the way. I can move to Godibo, that's a real place too. I can move anywhere and he's still here with me. He's still present with me. He's still around me. He still hears my prayers. I can't, you know, David said in Psalm 139, there's nowhere I can go to get away from his presence, right? And not that he was trying to, he was, maybe he was just overwhelmed with that too, just that no matter where I am, no matter what's going on, no matter what I'm facing, good, bad, or indifferent, God is just present, consistently present. And I just, I was just overwhelmed. And then I began, as I prayed for Chris and prayed for some other things that are on my heart and, and asked for directions on some different things and what to do about this and how to handle that and wisdom and how to handle this, you know, and, and truth, uh, integrity and things like that. I was just praying for some, lots of different things, just like you do, right? And I, I just was just so, I, my prayers turned to being grateful and just thanking God for being the all wise God. But the thing is, I was also thanking him because I have access to the all-wise God. I have access to the holy king of kings. I do. Yeah, I ain't got access to nobody important. Nobody listens to I was, I, as a matter of fact, I was thinking yesterday, I was like, I saw Sandy Patty is moving from Oklahoma City and the, and the mayor gave her a key to the city. She's done some wonderful things. I, 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 she looked really a lot older and I was like, well, yeah, you're older too, Jeannie. <laughs> right? And so, but I was like, how come she got the key to the city? I lived here longer and she, I lived here as long as she did, but I thought, I ain't done nothing. The mayor ain't going to call me. He, if I called the mayor with a serious concern, I'm going to go to voicemail. I'm going to get the roundabout. I might, I might get a form email in response, but I don't have access to the governor. I don't need access to the governor. I don't have access to the mayor. I don't have access to the president. 
thankfully. I don't have pres access to those people we deem as important in our society and in our governmental structures and things like that. But God, I do. I, I can just, he, he's waiting for me to say, hey, God. And he goes, yeah, well, I've been here all along. Right? I don't have to summon him up like uh, they used to do, feel like they had to do in the Old Testament. I don't have, that's a bad word, actually. But, but I don't have to wait for him. To, I don't have to call him and wait for him to call me back. I don't have to call it on, on a God and, and wait for him to say, well, I'm not coming through Oklahoma City until next week. Is that going to be okay? No, I just say, hey, God. And sometimes it's just, ah! <laughs> and he's right here. He's with me. And I was just so grateful that he is consistently consistent because we don't have hardly anything in our lives right now that are just pure old consistent with technology thank god for technology i'm doing all this through technology right i'm so so grateful for thanks for, for and thankful for technology but it changes our world literally every single day right and so we're in the state of constant flux we're in a state of constant change we're in a state of of nothing is really consistent right it, it's just it changes so much and god never changes he never moves he never takes things back he never says never mind he is never even surprised by our inconsistency right because i can be the most inconsistent thing in my life I, i'm not not to brag or anything but i can go from super high emotionally hip hip hooray to to oh my gosh we're all gonna die in half a second right and I'm, I'm not bragging or anything but i mean just half a second 60 to nothing, nothing to 60, right? But God is consistent. I'm not, my emotions aren't always consistent. My finances aren't always consistent. You know, my, my days are not consistent. But God is consistently consistent every single moment. I almost said every single day, but it's every day and night. It doesn't matter when we need him. It doesn't matter when we need his wisdom. It doesn't matter when we have a prayer. It doesn't matter what we're thinking about or what, what we're doing in our lives. He is right there. I don't have to, I have to wait on him in the sense that I want to wait for his response and not take matters into my own hands. I don't have to wait on him though in the sense that I don't have to wait for him to give peace. He already gave us peace. I don't have to wait for his grace. I want to go to the throne of mercy to find grace because sometimes we got to look for it, but it's, it didn't go anywhere. It's not because he hid it. You know, he never plays hide and seek and he never hides peace and grace and mercy in, in the sense that we can't access it or we can't find it. Sometimes we get our attention off somewhere else and we forget where it is. Right, and we have to go back and find that grace to help in time of need. Right, we have to go back and 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 tap into His mercy and go. Oh, I need Your mercy for today. Right, but God didn't hide it; He didn't take it away. It is consistent. All of His attributes, all of the things that He's given us, are all completely, totally, right there. And so I'm so grateful for that today. And because I know that He's right here today, I can let His peace reign in my heart one more day and you can do that too so all you have to do is make up your mind maybe you don't maybe you're not experiencing his peace right now maybe you're not experiencing his grace maybe you're not seeing his grace even if you're, you're definitely experiencing it right we're always experiencing that mercy and that grace at work in our lives because he's always changing us to the image of christ right always he's always working and then we just forget and we have to remind ourselves that we are co-workers with god and that means going back to him and going hey you know what and he's like i'm right here he's always right there when i say hey god he's right there and i love that about him i love that about him i, I love that he doesn't change he still got me today and for and, and he's gonna have me tomorrow and he's gonna have me tonight right he's not gonna change he's not gonna leave he's not gonna walk away he's not gonna forget what he said i love that about god maybe i give you some things to meditate on today and because of those things because of his consistency because of his his omnipresence because he's always here we have the ability to just peace out peace out have a great day i'll see you tomorrow